This week's Torah portion is called Vayeshev. And we read about Jacob, who at the end of his life wants to just settle down. He wants to have it peaceful and calm. But that's not the way of the world. We don't live in a world that has no struggles in it, has no challenges in it. And Jacob doesn't get to rest for the rest of his life. So one day he sends Joseph, who's the oldest son of the two children born to his beloved Rachel, and he sends Joseph out into the field to go inquire about the welfare of the other brothers who are out shepherding their flocks. He says to Joseph, go and see how they're doing. So Joseph goes off to try to find his brothers as his father had bid him, and he can't find them. He's lost. He's wandering around. He can't find them. And he comes across in a field. He comes across a man. And this man says to Joseph, what are you looking for? What are you seeking? And isn't that an amazing question? What are you seeking? What are we seeking? So Joseph answers, I'm seeking my brothers. I'm looking for my brothers. I want to know how they're doing. I want to, the brotherhood. I want to be connected to my brothers. This is my addition. But that he's looking for a unity of the children of Jacob, that we should be one, that we should be a brotherhood. And he wants to inquire as to their welfare. So this man sends him on his way, tells him where to go. And the commentator Rashi teaches us that this is no ordinary man, that this is the angel Gavriel, that Gavriel is the angel of God's strength, that an angel is a divine force, an energy that God puts into the world to achieve a certain mission. They're a messenger that God sends into the world. So when they come in, they have a purpose, they're here for a reason. And our Midrash teaches us that before the angel has accomplished their task, they're called human. And after they've accomplished their task, they are called angels. So this angel Gavriel in the field is a man and he's telling Joseph where to go so that he can find his brothers and continue the story of their now descent, of his descent into Egypt and then the Jewish people ending up in Egypt also. But it's necessary for the divine orchestration of this plan for this angel to direct Joseph to his brothers. So we also have the capacity to create energy, positive energy, negative energy in the world. And we call those angels. When we do good things, when we're kind to each other, when we're loving, when we have unity, when we do the read the Torah and learn the Torah and pray and bring godliness into the world, then we're creating positive energies in the world. We're creating angels, positive angels. And conversely, if we were to do negative things and evil things and harmful things and violent things and all of those things that we know to be wrong, then we're going to create negative energies in the world. So when we come to Hanukkah and we come to our time period now where we are enjoying to be the people who bring light into the world, we're the people who are doing good and doing kindness and doing what needs to be done. We have to eradicate the dark by bringing more light. So wherever we live in the world, when we do goodness and we do kindness, then we're going to dispel the darkness. And that's our job in this day, in these days.